How's it going guys and welcome back to Miniverse. Now recently I've been wanting to make another Warhammer Curse City diorama and guess what, I did just that. But first, let's mask up and slice that foam. Now I was playing with some ideas on how I wanted this diorama to look and I ended up deciding to do a mossy forest with a cool little sewage pipe running through it. So let's get to it. I started by carving the diorama in a downwards fashion allowing there to be three relatively small levels to the diorama to add some depth. Now to make the sewage pipe, I cut a hole into the diorama and dismantled a toilet roll and rolled it up into a small pipe. With the pipe, I then glued it into the hole, creating a little sewage system. Now for this diorama, I wanted to depict a rogue noble bounty hunter approaching the dead woods seeking his next target. Now who will that be? I'm sure we'll find out in another episode. I also wanted to add some trees in the background and the foreground, so I carefully carved a path for my little buddy to have a stroll through the woods. So I added some roots that I collected in the last episode and super glued them all over the diorama to make it look like withered dead trees. I must actually say I'm rather pleased how that one branch fitted perfectly over the sewage pipe. I then carved a small road into the foam with my clippers so that the glue and the flocking would have somewhere to attach to. Now onto the slow I broke up some rocks outside to get some nice diversity amongst the stones and then scattered them onto the diorama later. When putting the rocks down, I decided to use a plethora of different sizes and then sprinkled some little ones on top. Next, it was on to the basing. So to do this, I relatively mixed equal parts of dirt, paint, and Mod Podge. No, I did pour way too much Mod Podge here and it makes a much more soft appearance later on you'll see. So if you want a nice thick, dirty texture, less Mod Podge, maybe a bit more paint and more dirt. Once it's all mixed up, I recommend applying heaps into the areas where there's not a lot of detail and going back with a smaller brush to fill in the gaps. I'm really happy with how this basing style turned out, but I know there's a lot more I can add to this recipe to make it look a lot better. And who can forget about our little skelly boy? Now it's time to paint the protagonist. For the first time ever, I tried a glazing technique on his green jacket. I was actually really happy and I'm not surprised a lot of people use this technique. Uh, I don't know how it's taken me a year to get here, but hey ho. Now a little off candid off script here. What do you guys like over this kind of footage? Do you want me to talk about the paints I used, the techniques I used, or do you want to jam out to the little cool music behind going on? Let me know below in the comments. So anyway, I painted all the metallic silver, his fur cuffs in beige with a brown wash and bone highlights, his boots in a black glaze and his face in Gilliman flesh. Oh yes, and you can trust my big head to get in the way of half of these shots.
With him now painted, let's prime the diorama with a zenithal highlight and a brown base coat. I'm slowly getting better at airbrushing, and who knows, maybe I'll even use it on a miniature at some point. But for now, enjoy this little bit of basing. I then base coated most of the stones in dark grey with some light grey highlights wet blended in. Later on I then added contrast paints to give them all a uniform appearance. I then painted all the roots and parts of the bark in this nice little creamy beige colour. After that I added multiple washes all across the diorama to add some diversity to the ground, having different colours like browns, yellows and little bits of green. When painting the ground cover, I wanted the logs to look nice. Well, not nice, but rotten. So I used a lot of the green paints instead of the typical brown paints you'd see on logs. To make the moss, I stirred a lot of green flock into some Mod Podge with a couple of drops of green ink and then virtually slapped it all over the diorama where moss would typically grow. And if I remember correctly, moss usually only grows in one direction, so I tried my best to stick to that rule. I even used Dirty Down's moss paint to add some more texture to the moss so it adds that nice earthy green feel. Well I hope you liked the video, I'm really happy with this one and if you like it too make sure to like, share and subscribe. Uh, as a channel, we've just hit the milestone of 500 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. I've been Reese, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>